Star here from Dyer Stan. Welcome to another video and this is the Wowza Wednesday and this week I'm going to show you how I made this little box. It's a lovely little box. Look at that, see? And it will hold four tea light candles. Now I've done this as a one for a birthday but you could do it for a, if when we're ready, Christmas, um, birthday, get well, anything you really really wanted to. Now I use these dies here because um, this, this flower is now, uh, Punch is actually retired but that's the only bit of retired stuff we're using, oh and the little bit of ribbon that I'm using up here. Everything else I'm using for this project except for the um, embellishments are current. So let me show you how we made this and what we're going to be using. So we're going to be using this set here called In The Moment and I'm going to use this one. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. Now that is so true. And then you're always so good to others, be good to yourself too. So I'm going to put those two on there because that has got the, the relax on the front and inside it's got the other one there. So I'm going to show you how I made this and it will hold four of these lovely tea light candles. These are the, the not very tall ones. Oh, this is a bit bent, that one. Um, but you, it will hold the thicker ones as it pulls out the side here. Well, it does pull out the side here. There we go. So you can see that there's enough room for the taller ones in here. So there's, some of these are in those little plastic things. And they're a bit taller. So with the taller ones... It will hold them too. So I'm going to use that, that, and my Knight of Navy ink. I am going to do a little bit of um, <gasps> ooh, shivers. I'm just about to fall off my chair then. Um, cutting out using the layering circles. Oh, excuse me, that was horrid. Made me feel really sick. <laughs> so I'm just putting my little machine here so I can get to it. So we'll be using the layering circles for this project and I think it is this one. Let me double check. Yes it's that one which is the one, two, three, fourth size one. So we might as well leave that out as well. Oh right there. Layering circles have finished but there are circles in other sets if you need them. Or you can use a punch. All right. That's my scrap for doing my um, flowers with and my bow I've already done. There he is. And that's a bit of ribbon from the last um, last couple of years ago. But here we go. So this is what you'll need. This is all you'll need. A piece of card that is 11 and 3 quarters by 3 and 1 eighth for the main outside of the box. For the little box inside, a piece that is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And you need four pieces that measure two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And four pieces of designer series paper that measure four and five eighths by four and five eighths. And then you just need a couple of pieces of more white card, big enough for this to go on. So I've got a couple of pieces here, just scraps about two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths so we will start actually by stamping these and cutting them out first i think today so let's do that first so i can pop that in the middle there like that give that one a few seconds to dry and then the other one over here And that one can sit there for a minute and dry so they can go over there out the way and I'm going to put this away because we won't need it anymore. I'll bring in my little stamping up cutting machine. This is the mini one. So this is just perfect for little things like this. So let's pop this on here. Oops. I think I might turn that one over. That looks like it's got a bit of something on the top which we don't want. We'll pop this on here. This little machine is fantastic for just little jobs that we don't need to have a lot of, of um, you know, things to do all at once. So for any small amount of things, 
So I've got one of them cut out. Let's pop that in the bin. Let's cut the other one out. Oops, I'm moving around a bit here. So you can see just how versatile this little machine is if you haven't seen it and you've been wondering about getting this small machine. I don't have the bigger one because I still have my big shot and I don't see the point in having a big shot, which I've actually now got two because mum passed hers down to me now that she's not stamping and crafting anymore now that she's in a nursing home. So that's those done. It comes with our plates and how to use it. So they all fit in there nicely. So let's start with our main piece of this after I've cut them all out. They can just sit there nicely out of the way. And our scoring board. And we're going to score this piece when I can see the size, sizes <laughs> on the long side at three and one eighth. Now make sure I've got the right end. You know me, I like the small end with me using card. Three and one eighth and four inches and seven and one eighth and eight inches and eleven and one eighth why have I got that tiny bit there oh yes I know silly me and eleven and one eighth now you will find that most if you've got a 12 by 12, use the 12 by inches. I'm not using 12 by 12. I, I used a 12 by 12 piece of card on this one. But because I don't buy stamping up 12 by 12 card, I'm using a 4 card. So while I've got this out, I'm going to just move that down there out of the way. And we might as well do this square piece, which is the 4 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters. And we're going to score this at seven eighths of an inch on all four sides seven eighths seven eighths seven oh seven eighths bit of a wonky seven eighths that one was and seven eighths of an inch okay so we'll pop that one over there and we will work on this piece here first because we're going to need to cut that circle out again because this is a two and one quarter inch circle. So I'm going to use that to cut out again out of this. So first of all, we're going to actually score or fold all of this. Let me pop this open so I can see how it goes. Fold all of these score lines and burnish them. So we know which way we're going. Making sure that we got it nice and square on all four, all, all the sides because you want it to shut nicely. I'm going to just turn that one the other way. Okay. So with our card like this, this piece is going to fold into here like so and this one's going to fold over onto it and that will fold up to make the size. So on this one, one with the short edge the, the, where we did the 11 and 1 8 inch one. We're going to pop the thing on here and bring it out. <clears throat> Machine again. Oops, let's pop them down there for a second. Oops. And we're going to cut these out, this out. So we're going to pop this on here and we're going to pop this in the middle of this section here. So we want it to be even on the four sides around here. Okay, can you see that? I think you can just see that. And that one on top. Pop in through. If we're happy with where it is. We whiz in through. And we can move that out of the way then. Closing that up. As I say, if you haven't got a die cut machine you can always use a punch so we have our piece cut out there let's pop that over there of the middle of that piece so we're going to pop this on one side for a second and we're going to bring in our other piece and we're going to 
to cut this piece like so. I'm going to cut this, I'm going to just up here to the first mark and we're going to notch both sides and we're going to do the same on this one turn it 180 degrees we're going to do this one too the same I'm doing it this way because once you've done all of this, you've got to put all your layers on and you might as well put them all on at the same time. So we're going to fold and burnish all of these sides. Like so. So we'll stick this piece down. Oops, if, if I can get the pin out of my glue pot. It's been very cold here and wet the last few days. So, I'm going to pop a bit of glue on the corners of this one. And bring that around. Make that into a nice square corner. And then the next one. same and so forth all the way around let's move that on that angle it's just a little bit easier for me but you've seen me do the other two corner up and then turning this one in and pop some glue on this one and bring that one up as nicely as that now we're also going to bring in our half inch hole punch and on the sides where you've got the extra strength from these bits we're going to put in our finger hole so we're going to just bring this down the inside like so so it's touching the bottom and when you've done doing that you can see that you get a finger hole so you know you want it roughly in the middle and we're going to just pop that out like that and we're going to do another one on the other side directly opposite like so now those pieces were landed on both landed on me so let's move them out of the way so that's our outside of our box done and that's uh, the outside of the box and the box done so what we're going to do next is we're going to actually glue all of our pieces of um, layers together so we have these beautiful layers like so and we're going to glue them all together now I should have done a couple of these beforehand but it doesn't really matter you know if you don't want to watch me doing it you just whiz on by and get to the good part as my mum would always say get to it and I'd say, Mum, just whiz it on to the next piece. Well, but she would sit and watch. <laughs> that was Mum for you. Bless her heart. I love my Mum to death. I just wish she could visit me now. And I wish she could still craft with me now. But she's in a nursing home and she doesn't do much of anything anymore. Except sleep and eat unfortunately i guess at 91 years of age you're entitled to a rest isn't that so okay so we've got our four pieces and what we're going to do is one of these is going to go in here like so so we'll glue that one down in there first then we can pop our box piece out of the way while we work on the other piece if you've got a pattern that goes a certain way, which mine doesn't, just make sure that you put it so that it is portrait with these marks on the sides. So they're on the side and it's portrait this way. So let's pop that out of the way. This one, we're going to pop one on the front, which is this piece here. 
on the back, which is this piece here, and the other one is going to go on the inside. So let's pop these two on first. Excuse me if I sound a bit nasally. I've had a, oops, a bit of a cold. Luckily, not COVID, just a cold, a bad cold. And it's persevering really badly, which is even making that hard for me because I can't go visit my mum when I've got a cold. Or my dad. Who, who, both of them are in the nursing home together. So with this one, we're going to pop this one on the inside here, like so. really pretty doesn't it now we can put our little sayings on so we might as well put them on before we pop this together so I'm going to put the you're always so good to others be good to yourself on the inside there and then I will do it on the outside and making sure that you put it on so that it's seen the right way round, which is the flat edge at the bottom of you. And this one can go here. I'm not going to decorate it until after I've glued this all together. So gluing this together, now you will see, because I'm using A4 paper, that I have a fairly wide gap here between the two. Oh, that lighting's not crash hot, is it? Let's see if I can move that lot up. Does that look a bit better? Oh, come on. Move out the way, you. That's a bit better, isn't it? So we have our edge here and our score line here. Right, so. And I'm going to put my glue on this, this flap here. And bring this one over on top of it. By doing that, because it's not the same length, when I do stand it up like this, it will be the same length and that will fold over on the top like so. So we can now pop our little box piece on the inside. <coughs> so let me, let me fold that back the other way, just so that we get a nice crease there. And we'll pop in our four little tea lights. And pop this inside our box and it fits in there nice and snug and that folds over beautifully now you could always put a little you know fastener on there or something if you wanted to I don't like the light in here today it's really weird lighting and but I'm not going to put a, a, a little bit on there I'm going to put a couple of glue dots on the back of my um, bow and I'm going to put my bow down the bottom here go down that way there you go and then I have these little gems which are actually basic wave rhinestones on and I'm going to put a couple of those on the front and I'm going to use these dark blue ones so I'm going to use one big one and then one middle one either side of it like so yeah I like that like that oops that one's a bit high let's move him down a bit move down woohoo you yeah, go down there that's better okay now for my inside because this is very plain as I say I had this piece of just a piece of card here so I'm going to use this punch and this punch doesn't have a name on it so I can't tell you what it's called and I'm just going to punch out four flowers did I get them all? yep four flowers and then I'm going to just glue these little flowers onto my inside of my card here just so they hang into the middle a little bit 
but not off the, off the edge here. So let's see, I've got two more on this end over here. Okay, and then, oops, just stay there, will you please? Do as you're told. There you go. And now I'm going to put these lighter blue ones on the inside, in the middle. Let me just put the pin in my glue. Ah, get in there. And I'll just pop these little, these medium sized ones, I think, in the lighter blue here. Come here, into the centre of them. That's not in the center, come on. That's better. Okay, so that's our little project for today, and that's for our Wowser Wednesday in June 2023. I hope you've enjoyed today's little project. I reckon I might do this one again when we get our um, Christmas winter catalog summer catalogue here in Australia. Our Christmas catalogue, mini catalogue, to show you how you can do this with the new, I'm sure there'll be heaps of paper with Christmas decorations. So that's, that's today's project. If you'd like the written tutorial for that, please head over to Dyer's Den for stamping, crafting and tutorials. You'll find the, the written tutorial link down below here. Um, if you've enjoyed today's project, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other projects. And I will see you again next time. Bye for now.